Let's just take a glance at the new one. Who's thinking about taking this new one? The Essential Academic Skills Subtest 1, reading 001. Who's thinking about this one? And just type in skills. We'll call this skills. Who's taking the skills test? Skills, skills, skills. No, give me, so if you're not taking skills, be like, not yet. No, didn't know about it. So let me just point out some things to you. First, we're just gonna focus on the reading subtest. How many multiple choice questions does it have? 45. Uh, how much time do you have? How much time do you have? Look at it closely. How much time do they give you for the reading test? One hour, right? 45 questions, one hour. Um, same thing with the breaks. So that's the same. That doesn't change. And the passing score is 220. Does everyone see that? Passing score is 220. So let's just think about that. Let's 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 look at let's compare these now. Let's look at these two exams. The MTEL01 communication literacy exam. This is the one that's been going on for the last, I think, eight years, eight or nine years. And then this exam right here, the new essential skills uh, test, essential academic skills test, which is supposed to be an alternative, an alternative test. Just came out last week, okay? Most of you don't even know about it. Um, this one has 42 questions. This one has 45. This one has anywhere from three to four hours to test. This one gives you an hour to test. So team, uh, the communication literacy we test has six questions, right? So that's how we got 42 divided by six questions gets you seven passages. Yes? Does everyone see how I did the math there? Give me a thumbs up. Now, the, the essential academic skills test um, doesn't have six questions, has five questions. So if we did the same math, 45 questions, and there are only five questions, because that's what they have, then that means um, how many passages are there? Nine or something. Does everyone got how I got the nine? I don't know for sure because I haven't seen how they divided up those 45 questions, but I'm, but based on what I've read about it, uh, seeing five different questions, assuming that every passage has five separate questions, I'm going to make the assumption then that that would mean that there are nine passages. Yes. 45 divided by five would get you nine. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, the Communication and Literacy MTEL-01 exam uh, would give you about 34 minutes if you were, had the full four hours. And if you had only three hours, how much time would you have? 25 minutes per passage, right? So if you had four hours, you have 34 minutes per passage. If you have um, three hours, you have 25 minutes. Whereas this one here, the new one, the Essential Academic Skills Exam, is uh, seven, six to seven minutes per passage. Team, do you got that? If you break it down by time per question, this one's got five to seven minutes per question. This one's got 80 seconds per question. Now, I'm, I'm just basing this on, I, I got that number by just doing this math, right? I was like this, you got, <clears throat> four, uh, uh, four hours, 240 hours, 240 minutes divided by 42 questions. That's how I got this number. Got it? So if we do the same math here, you have, um, you have one hour divided by um, 45 questions. You're going to get something around uh, one minute and a quarter per question or one minute and a third per question. And that's how I got around 80 seconds. Okay. Before we go to the passing grade, does everyone see the difference? I'm looking at this new version here and um, we'll do one case study from it. 
Uh, and I would encourage you to go to that test site and read about it because there's actually a third one coming out too. And right now, just looking at the numbers here, I question it a little bit. Hmm. You know what I mean? I just, um, I'm just question. I just got some questions here because I don't think it's any easier. If you were thinking it was going to be easier, I think you're wrong. <laughs> I think you're mistaken. You know what I mean? It, because uh, um, it just, all these markers indicate that this is for uh, someone that, you know, um, definitely doesn't need to take this class, right? Do you see what I mean? Now, I don't know. I haven't taken the test. I, I, you know, I haven't taken any of these exams, but no one's taking these exams either, right? But, but based on what I'm seeing right now, there's a big kind of concern here that, you know, four hours versus one hour, I take the four hours or three hours any day. Um, you know, uh, 30 to 25 to 30 minutes per passage versus six to seven minutes per passage. I'm going to take more time any day of the week, okay? Five to six, seven minutes per question versus 80 seconds. I will say this, team. Um, Go Academy has been doing these exams for a while, and we see, you know, waves of different exams. And I do see a push for these faster exams. Now, here's why a state would want these faster exams. They might be able to say to their teachers, hey, we, we oh, oh, there's a difference in pricing too. This is a lot less expensive than that, okay? Um, I think at this current time, but, but, but don't take out pricing for a moment, okay? They'll be able to say to teachers, here's an exam, uh, it's only an hour long. Uh, it's a it's less expensive. Teachers might feel like that's a win, yay! But then they won't say, "Oh, but you got to work three times as fast, right?" And these newer exams, they encourage other t teachers to take it over and over again. So this is an exam that maybe some teachers might have to take five to seven times before they pass as opposed to one or two times. So I personally, I, I don't want anyone to take this five to seven times. That's ridiculous, right? But I think that's kind of, that's where this one leads you to. Super hard to pass. It, it's something where you have to take it five to seven times, memorize the passages, and then be like, I can do them in 80 seconds. You know what I mean? Now, Tim, I'm, I'm going on a limb here and saying that, but I'm drawing some inferences here, but I, I just want you to be careful Okay, because I see a lot of red flags with this. They're examining different exams right now. Be very careful on this. Okay, you, uh, be very careful. This is this this is one of the exams. Just because the passing score is a little lower, um, taking away that time. Remember, the time is the issue. The time is the thing that gets you. So you lower the score. That's fine but you triple your pace, that might be harder for some teachers. Team, do you kind of get the gist right now about a little bit a little more awareness of these two exams? And you can research these a little bit more. You can go to the MTEL website. You can read about this one. You can go to the MTEL website. You can read about this new one here, okay? Just, just take some time. Don't jump into things too soon, okay? All right. The good thing is that both these exams have the same, well, at least on the questions. Let's look at the stuff that's the same on the questions. Um, they uh, both have word phrase, main idea, author purpose questions, critical reasoning questions, and graphic outline questions. So they share five of the six questions are the same. Give me a thumbs up. Because most of us here are doing the Communication Literacy MTEL-01 exam, because most of us are doing that exam, we're going to focus on all six questions, okay? I hate to, I, there is a third exam coming, a third option coming, um, but we have to wait for information on that to come out. So if this is just to get a snapshot of these two exams. And by the way, they're both from Pearson, okay? Um, and, and this one right here, this is from, I think, 2009. So, so this is just the old version. And this is, I think, partly due to a lot of different things connected to the pandemic and all sorts of stuff. But, 
but they're giving a new exam, which is an old exam. So just, just be careful of this before you flip flop. Okay. They all have main idea questions. Bo I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, they, they both have identify um, word, uh, word phrase questions. Okay. Hold on. Let me finish this up. Everyone have this slide. Give me a guess. You see what's different. You see what's the same. You can decide which one you like or which one you want to do. Okay. And there's a third option coming. And when that third option comes, we'll examine it too. But for right now, take a close look at the differences between these two exams. Okay. The current communication literacy MTL1 exam for reading and writing and these new exams that are being presented uh, with the time difference for the essential skills exams that, that both meet the requirement for communication literacy. Okay. Got it. Yay. Awesome. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. This spring, Go Academy is turning all the workshops into webinars. These classes are gonna be covering the same material as a regular workshop. We're gonna do them in seven hours and they're held on Saturdays and Sundays in the morning. I encourage you to check out a webinar. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful.